Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil with me, Oxfu. And I know it's been a while, but I've been sick. I've been getting ready for finals because, you know what? Today was my last day of classes, so I'm done until finals. Um, but as you can see, last time we came in and we destroyed this horrible machine. Okay, we can't take a picture. Who won't tell us what that is? Um, and we freed Double H, who busted down this door for us. So now we're going to go back and meet up with Paige, see if he was able to find Double H or whatnot. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm done with classes uh, today, so I only have five finals left, which only four of them are real finals, and only two out of those four I actually need to study for, because, well, three out of the, four, <laughs> three out of the five classes I'm taking this semester are literature courses, and I don't really need to study for them, so... Oh, but before we go meet up with Paige, we gotta take care of this guy. And of course, I was doing the same thing I was doing last time, not taking a pic. This monster has been extinct for thousands of years. One second, as my dog barks at someone going down the road. Um, you don't pay attention to that. Um, <laughs> But anyway, yeah, did the same thing with this guy that I did last time. Didn't take a picture of the boss. Um, as you can remember with Corolla Max or whatever his name is. But yeah, hopefully... What am I, what am I doing? <laughs> I, need to, I need to shoot the, shoot these, shoot these special things we have. These little, these little diskettes. And even though it seems like a cutscene... Careful, because it's not yet a cutscene. He's just... He's just getting ready to jump on you. I don't know, I, th I find it interesting that it kind of goes to the... It still takes the third-person perspective, but it's kind of like a second-person, third-person. <laughs> In a weird way. Like, like right now, it all, it's, it's a third-person that's based on him, not on you, the hero. Which is real. It's cool. It's, it's different. You don't see that in a lot of games. Um... But yeah, happy with this semester. It was fun. And I get to do more literature stuff from now on, because I think I'm going to be taking at least that English minor, if not more, so... I'm going to be trying to do an Irish literature focus, and, and it'll be fun, you know? And, I mean, computer science major with an English minor, that's not going to... that's going to come in handy. <laughs> Um, because pretty much two-thirds of computer science is just writing, so... Oh, shoot. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I didn't get that hit in last time, and I was kind of I was kind of pissed. Now, excuse me while I break my conversation. Let's take a sip of this tasty beverage. And we're going to get a pearl from him. Thanks, Jade. I'd have ended up on a silver platter with an apple. Shut up. You're making me hungry. I I'm gonna regret saving you. I love that line. Oh, does he have anything else to tell us? You got some news from Double H. The Iris contact, he's still alive. I think so, yeah. I'll tell you all about it. Alright, we're we're all set then. We've received an email from Double H. You found him? That's remarkable. He said you shouldn't worry about him. He'll find his own way back. Well that's good. Alright. So now we can go back to this electrical room, and we gotta find a way to get our hands on that pearl, by golly! Well, we'll take care of that later, Paige. But first, we need to get a fuse for that elevator so we can figure out what we're doing in here. And now that we actually have that diskette launcher, we can do something about that instead of spending five minutes in here wondering how I do this puzzle because I don't have the right equipment. Because as you can see, as I as I cut out earlier, this acts as a conduit between these two things. Actually, before we do that, we're kind of low on energy, so I'm going to just pick up some K-Buffs. We get enough money. We, get en we have enough units. Um, but it acts as a conduit between the, elect between the electrical fields. So what we have to do is just bring this over here, and there we go. Voila! We can hit this button, and it's open. And there's our fuse. Hey Jade, fuses ahoy! Just what we need to 
fix the Vader. Yep, but if you will notice, we can't take it right now. Um, I'm going to regret doing that, but oh well, I just wanted to show you guys. And here's the key. But as you can see, there's a thi there, there there's going to be someone we're going to have to take it from, so... It's not that big of a deal, though. This guy's pretty easy. Just treat him like that spinny laser guy you did earlier. Just bring him over here. Super action. Just pop him up like those earlier enemies, and just hit him into the electric field. Electrical field. Easy as cake. And there we have our key. And, more importantly, a PA-1. So we get one more health. Come on, Paige, move, move, move your fat ass. And now, um, well, first of all, we gotta take care of these guys. These guys are pretty easy, you just, you can hit them into each other, you can whack them, it's pretty easy. Just make sure you don't hit them while they are red. Otherwise, you're going to take some damage. I believe it's one more. Yeah, because they're electrified or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Again, just hit them into each other. That's the pretty much the easiest way to take them out. And then eventually they'll do this little thing if you just end up hitting them into each other. Or no, if you just end up whacking them. And that means you just take another whack and they'll be dead. Pretty easy. Having to beat up these little mechanical marbles. Oh, poor Paige. But anyway, now as you can see, we got our key, which means we can unelectrify these fuses. I'm gonna go for the back one first, just because it's farther away. We will probably need both these fuses, so I'll make sure I take both of them. Um. But yeah, lots of. Whoa, whoa, what? There we go. Lots of awesome things happening at school for me. Um, I am now president of the Modern Animation Club down at my school, which makes me very happy because my good friend Brian started that. And, well, we gave it, we gave it to my friend Megan for last year because I didn't know if I was going to still be at UConn, but now I'm holding the reins, and it's just going to be fun. Ooh, we're kind of low on health. One second. Right, but now we can put this fuse in here. And we should be all set, right? I was able to put in the fuse. Nope. Because we have one thing left to do. Just hit right up here to give some electricity to it, and we're going to be all set. I found a power source. But yeah, um, I am now the president of Modern Animation Club, which is absolutely awesome. And, well, we just finished watching... Okay, I, I can say the name this time. We just finished watching Puella Magi Magica Magica. I said it that time. It's not like Puella Magi Magica... Whatever you say. How do you ever you say it? Um... <laughs> Excuse me. Um... Yeah, it's a patch job, so... We're gonna get one elevator ride out of this. Pretty much. Um, I like how these light up to show you it's coming down. Instead of just having it here to begin. You couldn't tell what either of them were saying because they were talking at the same time. Um, but anyway, my friend Megan has been invited to a panel or she submitted a panel for Oticon, and I might be one of the people working on that panel. This doesn't look very good. Uh, by the way, Jade, here, this came for you the other day. Can we take care of this off of the life-threatening elevator that's about to drop? Uh, yeah, probably. Sorry. But with everything going on lately... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just come over here, you big bacon thing. Alright, we take care of that, he takes care of that. Simple simple two-person puzzle. Just press them around the same time. There you go. 
And now we get to fight some more. And sorry about that. I just saw my screen flicker. Um, there's something wrong with the cable that hooks up my TV. Hooks up my TV to my Xbox. I gotta get another cable. See if I can at least. I don't know if they sell them at GameStop anymore, but I'll figure it out. It's not that big of a deal. Um. Not too bad, sugar. Without you, I'd be smoked ham by now. Well, that would be pretty delicious, but we gotta go up this way. Because there's no way we can get through this door right now. I don't think actually. Oh no, because you, you'll see, you'll see. Um, but anyway, sh I'm, I might be going to do that that Madoka panel with her, and that will be pretty fun because I have enjoyed this. I have enjoyed this anime a lot, a lot. For you, those that don't know, it's well, it's a deconstruction of the Magical Girl anime, which is the official tagline, but. It's just good. Alright, so there's a certain way that you get this guy. You gotta run down here. We'll get a picture of this because we, we're gonna need it anyway. Oh wait, we've already got that map. What am I talking about? But you gotta come back up. He'll be up here again. And you gotta make sure that you take the picture far enough away that he won't run away. Or at least quick enough that he won't run away. Okay, I've added it to my archive. What usually happens is I'll forget about this guy, so... Not this time! And I don't think there's anything else we can do down here. Nope, not yet. Not quite yet. But this will be important. Anyway. I don't know. It's going to be fun. If I do end up going for the panel, I might be one of the people that gets to go to, to, the, uh, to the convention for free. So that'll be fun. Yeah, actually, it'll be a, it'll be really fun, actually. But can we take a picture of this guy? No, okay. So yeah, we can see here the conspiracy that they're that they're shipping humans, or well, they're shipping humans and crates and stuff. And well, that's about it for this episode. And I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Beyond. I can't do anything. Let's see. I'll do some rolling. I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil. Alright guys, thank you for watching, and I hope, I, hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy.